Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are here with Baby Baby Blue. Baby Blue, baby. And I'm MV2. Do MV2 we look alike? And baby Blue. <coughs> Do we look alike? A little bit. Except Blue for him. Guess how old he is. He's 55, and I'm only 13. If you want to guess his name, then we'll play it. His name is... What's your name? Your real name. Michael. My real name is Mason. If this video gets to 20 likes, if this video... <coughs> this video gets to 20 <coughs> likes, I will reveal my face. Alright. Let's get to the Try Not To Cry Challenge. We're we'll watch <coughs> two videos and see if we can try not to cry. And no fake crying, okay? If I see real tears and I'll know you're really crying. Can't fake crying. If you cry once, you lose. Baby Bob. Give it a minute. I'll keep clicking on it. Give it a minute. Give it a minute. You click on it, the longer it takes. Basically, I said stop clicking on it. Oh, damn. Well, it takes forever. It does take forever. Leave it alone. We're gonna watch anything that will definitely make you cry. Come on. Let's start a new session. Name up there, I told you. Yes, screw it up. Come on, once let it come all the way up. Hold on. Okay, down. I heard you, hey. baby blue. Now you can do it. Come on, come on, Okay, so. At 1-800-CONTACTS, we're here for Allison, whose prescription just expired. Don't worry, Allison, with our ex- At 23, I was responsible for taking her life. Never did I think when I was in the 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th grade that at 23 I'd be responsible for, for taking the life of somebody. It was a Friday night, 2009, July 17th. 
we decided to go to the bar. I was 23 now, so I was allowed to go to the bar legally. Even though I wasn't supposed to be there, because three months prior to this, I had just got a DUI. So I had no license and I was on probation. My buddies and we were all going to the bar and they said, Nathan, are you driving? And I said, oh no, absolutely not. I don't have a license. I'm on probation. I'm not even supposed to be doing it. So I had drank and consumed a half a fifth of whiskey and 13 shots of tequila. I was drunk. Are you a girl named Priscilla Owens, who had just moved from Alabama. Are you sure? Yes. Uh, I see water in your eyes. She had three weeks previous to moved up to Indiana to Marion. She was from there when she was a kid. She was a little older than all of us. Priscilla shows up and she was going to be my designated driver. She was the one that was supposed to take me to start the fire. She comes to get me. My friend Mike says, Nathan, you're not driving, right? I said, oh, no. I mean, I'm drunk. I'm not driving. She is. She's my designated driver. We got this. We're going out to TJ's. We're starting the fire. I'll see you in a little bit. Cool. We shook up and we're out the door. But in the process of leaving that bar to getting to the car, there's one question that I'm never going to probably ever have answered. And I can't quite put my finger on it. But somehow, when I left that bar, Priscilla gave me her keys. And I remember these next few moments. I remember the atmosphere. I remember what was being said. I remember everything, every part of it. I remember the, 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 the shorts that I had on. I remember more clearly than anything the next words I heard out of Priscilla's mouth. I remember them so clearly. Every vowel, every consonant articulated so precisely. And it was so clear, as crystal clear as day. Well, the next words I heard from Priscilla were simply this. Tree! And I woke up in a hospital bed. The paramedics report. It said this. It said when they arrived on scene, that there was only one person in the vehicle, me. And that I hit the tree going anywhere from 60 to 63 miles an hour. There was no brakes. I didn't even try to stop. And when I hit that tree, that case of beer bottles that was behind her, Catapulted forward at impact. And then a woman named Priscilla who didn't have her seatbelt on catapulted forward at impact. And that thing called the windshield in your car. And that case of beer bottles met with Priscilla in between. And she slid down to the floorboard. And her neck rested on the middle console. So I stayed up all night that night. You know what? The, the paper had read to Lifeline in a serious accident. Took into Parkview Hospital. Nobody would tell me if she was alive or she was dead. I had no idea, but I knew the paper said something that morning. And if she was alive or she passed away, the paper would probably say something the next morning. The paper man shows up at like 4 a.m. He comes driving by. Everything slows down like a movie. He rolls the window and he throws the paper, it hits, boom. I jump up, grab it, I rip open the rubber band, I roll it open, and there's the headline. Crash victim dies. At 23, I was responsible for taking her life. Never did I think when I was in the 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th grade that at 23 I'd be responsible for, for taking the life of somebody. What happened though is the family wanted me to contact them right after that and I called and what do you say to that? You know, what do you say? I'm sorry. But I called and the family said, Nathan, listen, Priscilla was sober. It was her vehicle. We can't put all the blame on you, which I didn't agree with. I was solely to blame. I was the driver. I don't care how drunk I was. It was my fault. But they said, listen, there's no reason for two families to be destroyed. We want you to know that we we love you, even though we don't. I see water in your eyes. The water in my eyes, I'm trying to just...
We don't know you, we forgive you even though we don't know you, but do us a favor, just try to make the world a better place. Try to don't let Priscilla die for nothing. Just make a difference. What I do, my life speaks louder than words because when I begin to change my life, I'm going to learn to make good choices. I'm going to learn to be responsible. I'm going to be dedicated. I'm going to have good characters and morals and values. I'm going to own up when wrong. I'm going to be truthful. I'm going to stand up for what I know is right. And I won't let anybody change me. And maybe that's not where you're at right now. But you can get there. And these are the attributes of success, man. If you want something in life, you got to be willing to do what nobody else has done. If you keep doing the same thing you've always done, it's the, it's the definition of insanity. If you want to change, you're going to have to be willing to change. Good choices will always have good results. And I was making a lot of bad choices and a lot of bad decisions. And I was basing my value, my worth, off your opinions. And I learned something. Listen to me, everybody in here, I want you to understand something. Your value is never based off any of the opinions of anybody in this room. Who cares what anybody thinks or says about you? They are not your merit system. They are not your system of worth. You are who you say you are by your actions. But the choices and the decisions that we make have consequences, good or bad. And when I went to prison, at 23, listen, I came from a broken family. I had been labeled and I marked and identified. I had battled hurts and pains and wounds. I had suicidal thoughts and I had battled self-harming. Drugs and alcohol had consumed me. I had lost all dreams and goals. I felt like I had made too many mistakes to change. Listen, I felt like why, I had every reason to say, you know what, life is too tough and I quit. these three principles and I promise you man they will change everything about who you are hard work works make good choices good things happen and value people I decided 10 years ago literally when this all happened and I went to prison I wanted to be I was like you know what I want to make this promise I want to keep it to this family I come from a lot of brokenness I don't know where to start but what I do know is the importance of the choices that I make and so literally I wrote the word change the world and I slapped it on my little prison cell window and every single day I woke up. Sure, that's your water in your eyes. And I realized make good choices, great things happen. Aim small, miss small. Make good choices, great things happen. You see, every choice that I can make, listen, I, I can't control what you think about me. I can't control your opinion of me. I can't control what you say about me. But I control how I react, respond, and what I do with my life. I'm in control of my life. I don't let external factors control me. I'm in control of my life. Because sometimes life can be tough. Life can be challenging. And sometimes the obstacles in front of you seem like they're too big and it's easier just to lay down. But you know what I remember? I remember when my dad used to look at me when the kid and said, listen, Nathan, life is never going to give you anything. But if you make it and if you build it, nobody can take it from you. Because hard work and tenacity and refusing to quit and chasing your dream, you'll get there, I promise you. Maybe you don't hit the stars, but you land on the moon. You don't, don't give up and you go after it and you stop caring about the opinions of people around you. Stop blaming everybody from your hurts. Take ownership of your life. Take off your mask. Don't feed the bear. Make good choices. Be a best friend. Encourage somebody. Be a voice of hope and inspiration. This is your moment. Huh. Very cool. I'm sorry, I had to take off my mask like you said. Alright guys, that had a, that had a full face reveal and just seeing that video, I'm wondering, <coughs> thing about you guys is I'm going to say it right now, like the person, the guy just said, you are in control of your actions, you are in control of yourself, no one else can control you, no matter how hard people bully you, you need to be in control of yourself. There's something I've learned today, and that is, value who you are. And don't let anybody change you for who you are. That is one thing you're going to learn today, guys. And you can take off your hoodie, by the way. All right. You got a face reveal for me, guys. None of us have cried. 
so we just won the challenge. So, thank you guys for watching this video. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and hopefully you learned something from that. Even though you didn't see the video, you heard the video with your ears. That's why you have an ears to hear, eyes to see, a nose to smell, and a mouth to taste. Your ears are for hearing. So that's why, that's why they hear you, because apparently I don't know how to do split screen. I haven't learned how to do that yet. But in the next video, guys, will be a try, will be an inspiration video of how, will be an inspiration video. So the next video will be an entire Q&A about me. So will it be anything that you guys want to know about me, comment down below. My dad will say anything, and I'll tell you everything and anything you need to know about me. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, and I'm really considering on becoming a spy ninja. I'm really considering it, guys. So, if, if this video gets to 20 likes, or if this video, if this video gets subscribed, and the bell single sit symbol is ringing, then I might end up becoming a official true spy ninja. So make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on the post notifications. Alright? If you learned something from that, I'm glad you did. Because that might be you one day in a situation telling everyone your story. And then everyone will learn that and will tell their story. And everyone will keep telling their story and everyone will learn something from it. So please make sure you value the things that you have in life, guys. So that way, so that way you never let someone bring you down. Because the moment you let someone bring you down is the moment you come, up, the moment you come down with yourself. And don't ever come down with yourself. Always be a happy person inside. Suiciding yourself is not worth dying over. Killing yourself is not worth dying over. Saying things about yourself is not okay. You need to be a better. You can be a better person. You can be who you want to be. As long as you can be in control of yourself, that's all that matters. Nothing else matters in this world except for you. You are the only person. You are in control of yourself. You are your own person. No one else can control you. That's why you have a brain, and that's why you have. That's why you have a brain to think. So you can think of what you're doing. Alright, so thank you guys for watching this video, and I will see you guys in the next one.